Well, the first IPS Butler Lab School opened in 2011, and it has grown larger than first expected. More than 250 students on a wait list prompted the school board to pass a resolution to explore options for a second school. And that second lab school will open this fall. Butler's Dean of the College of Education, Ina Shelley, is here now with more on an innovative approach to education. And Ina is always welcome to the program. Thank you so much. All right, let's talk about it. Let's go back to the beginning okay. and uh, the launch of the first uh, lab school in 2011. You mm -hmm. really didn't have designs on doing more than that first school, right? No, no, we didn't. We were thrilled that IPS gave us the opportunity, uh, but our focus was to really um, see what we could learn and do in a community uh, with a very different approach to education. Mm -hmm. And we thought it would just be the one school, mm -hmm. and it has exceeded expectations well, in many ways. Well, talk about that approach to education in the mm -hmm. lab school. Give, give folks an example or an idea of what it's all about. Sure. It's uh, based upon uh, the, the uh, Reggio Emilia approach from Italy, which is the belief that children have a hundred ways of learning. And so we teach uh, a, a lot of ways to all children using the arts as a primary language, for example, a lot of project-based work. Uh, we document the children's work, so we make it very visible. So if you were to come into the school, you could read documentation and see artifacts and go, oh, this is what's happening in the school and understand the learning process. And it's really resonated with, uh, with parents and families. Yeah, we'll talk about that, that demand, as I mentioned, a, a big mm -hmm. wait list. And that prompted uh, the creation of a second lab school, Absolutely, right? which was a lovely surprise to yeah. have. Yeah. Uh, what, uh, in your view, uh, diversity, being able to accommodate a lot of diverse learners, right? Yes. And, 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 and understanding that, that kids, young people learn in many different ways. Is that kind of at the core mm -hmm. of this popularity? That is exactly at the core, yeah. that there are a hundred ways of knowing, being, learning, and doing, and that we need to be able to teach in all those different ways. Mm -hmm. As you look at reasons for success, you talk about the model, but also that connection to the private sector, to, mm -hmm. to the corporate community, mm -hmm. uh, that has been very important to this as well. It has been very important. In fact, uh, I think one of the key ingredients of the success of this school has been our business partners, PNC Bank, Dow Agro, Duke mm -hmm. Energy. Uh, they have been with us from the beginning and continue mm -hmm. to be. And I think uh, that partnership was one of the reasons we were recently selected by the the National Association of mm -hmm. the Colleges for Teacher Education as a model of best clinical preparation practice of teachers because of our work in the community with businesses. How have you seen, you've been in education for a number of years, but mm -hmm. the corporate community, you mentioned PNC and that focus mm -hmm. on early education mm -hmm. and other companies like, like Dow Agro uh, and others. Mm -hmm. How have you seen that evolve and the importance of the corporate community really getting actively involved in education? Oh, it's been, it has been wonderful because I think it it's been a true learning community and a back and forth uh, where we can bridge what is sometimes a gap between business and education of understanding uh, how complex learning and teaching is, but then giving data that says mm -hmm. this does work and mm -hmm. we must do that in education. And there is a benefit, I know as we were talking off camera a moment ago, uh, to having assets like the Butler IPS Lab School, now a second lab school, mm -hmm. uh, and, and folks like Visit Indy, uh, it's really uh, resonating. It is resonating. Uh, Chris Gall has been to our school mm -hmm. uh, and wants to actually think about a way when he brings uh, entities to the community to mm -hmm. see this. Um, we have a lot of visitors to the school from the state, but we also have a lot of visitors coming to us from out of state wanting mm -hmm. to see this. So yeah. it's a good thing for Indianapolis. Very good. Ina Shelley is the Dean of the College of Education at Butler University. A second uh, Butler Lab School uh, opening uh, later on August, I think. August 6th. Uh, August 6th. You know the date. Okay, I know the date. Good. Ina, as always, thanks very much. We'll talk to you Thank soon. Thank you. Thank All you, right. Gary.